bit. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to another predestined. Predestined. Is it still light? Yeah, it is. I think it's the door. Let's see. All right, Frank, go this way. There we go. You can see my eyes. I just be wanting to make sure y'all can see my eyes. Okay. Praise the Lord. Guys. God is so good. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your time. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread. Forgive me of my debts as I forgive my debtors. And lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory. I release all my flesh and I pray you increase your Holy Spirit in me, around me, and upon me. All for your glory. I pray that people hear you through me. In Jesus Christ's name, I'm just a vessel. Amen. Guys, on this video, we're going to be talking about letting go. I'm going to talk about some personal experiences going on and who needs to let go. But first, I want to do um, the Apostles' Creed. So, I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity Church, um, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ. I just kept saying Michael. Anyway, letting go, that's not who this video is for. This video is for somebody who left me and decided they didn't want to marry me they wanted to marry their best friend okay this video is for you let me go says the lord be still and know that i am god i'm gonna try my best not to use any names hallelujah so it was so awesome because I, I didn't realize that the next daily devotional was already speaking to you and so I want to thank God because he does know the end from the beginning. Just like he warned you not to do what you did and you still did it, being disobedient. So maybe you will listen now. Praise the Lord. Okay. Psalm 46 verse 30 says, be still and know that I am God. How can you let go of situations that are out of your control and surrender them to God? What aspects of his character help you to surrender all to him? In a time of conflict with other nations, Israel received a similar word from God. Be still. Stop striving. He said, in essence, just follow what I say. I will fight for you. Israel was not being told to be passive or complacent, but to be actively still, to obey God faithfully while yielding control of the situation and leaving the results of their efforts to him. We're called to do the same, and we can do it because Layaba, and we can do it because the God we trust is sovereign over the world. If he lifts his voice and the earth melts, and if he can make war cease to the ends of the earth, then surely we can trust in the security of his refuge and strength. The burden of control over our life isn't on us, it's on God. Here's the thing. You were told to release a friendship because it could potentially harm the new friendship or the relationship which was me that the Lord was bringing to you and your church. But you told God no, and you told me no. And what is your same excuse you're using when you try to speak to me through the Holy Spirit every day? If, what you be saying, Holy Spirit, what you be saying? Oh yeah, you be saying if 
if you could just let somebody go like that, then y'all wasn't friends. No, if you can't let nobody go like that, then you can't obey the voice of God. You got to know how to let stuff go when the Lord say let stuff go. Now here you are, you chose to get married, you changed your mind not to marry me, for you and your church over there in California, listen, let me go, I don't want to be friends with you, my friend is Jesus Christ, he's the only friend that I need to have every day, I can let people go, I'm going to be obedient, now you need to take heed, the Lord says be still and know that he is God, he is fighting for me and he's going to fight for you, but you got to be obedient for him to fight for you, and you got to let us go, ain't no friends, I'm not friends with no exes, nobody I was supposed to marry, that's not healthy for my new relationship because what else are you doing? Now you're married and you're still trying to flirt with me, reminisce about old stuff during the courtship before you decided to, to marry Maggie. Now I got to keep seeing Maggie because you want to stay around. I be seeing a little stuff like, stop it. You got to let me go. I don't know why you chose to marry somebody and then just only to be unhappy. Listening to demonic wisdom. You should have listened to the Lord months ago when he told you to release it. But you keep giving excuses every time the Lord tell you to do something. Whether it's with me, whether it's with the church. You got to be obedient and let it go. This is your choice by your actions that you made. You can't change what you did. Let me go. Ain't no friends with me. We're not friends. What's wrong with you? You don't treat no friend the way you did me. So I don't want no kind of friendship with you. Praise God. Let go, be still, and know that God is God. No little messages, none of that. Like you, that, And that go for other pastors and bishops too, trying to force their will in my life. Let go. Let me go. Be still and know that God is God.